night, guys. So I'm gonna be driving in a little bit, and I, it's a good time for me to talk, even though I'm driving. You know, I'm not directly looking at you the whole time. Um, about this whole prep thing. So, uh, first things first is I am 11 weeks out, which uh, in two days on Saturday I'll be 10 weeks out. <laughs> um, 10 weeks out. It's crazy. Like the thought of 10 weeks out is really? it's right there. It's gone by really fast. I just started my cut, so the actual cut. Um, so this week I started cardio, which today was four out of my five days of cardio. And the first couple days, it was kind of tough just because it's like I have to make time for this now. I think that's the more stressful part than actually doing cardio. Because actually when I'm in it, I enjoy it, you know, and I really push myself really hard. Um, but because I'm a mom and I'm working full time, the stress of having to make time to do your cardio is you know what's bothersome but um but I'm just figuring it out and just like everything else you kind of just have to figure it out and try not to stress about it and just you know just especially when you're a mom and you're working full-time and you have all this stuff going on and but yet you're trying to do something for yourself um and it's hard to make to make sure. <laughs> it's even recording still. Wow! I just dropped my phone. <laughs> Turn off my my heater thing real quick. Okay, <laughs> there we go. Okay, this. Oh, there we go. Okay, so um, yeah, just the the just it cardio is time consuming, right? It, I'm doing 45 minutes. It's an extra hour on top of my hour and a half to two hours of workout that I already do so it's like shoot well now I have to cut down on my training time so I could get in my cardio um, but this week it hasn't been that way I've still got my hour and a half to two hours of training time on top of doing my 45 minutes of cardio so it's been working out um, and I hope that um, my I've dropped some pounds or some body fat of something so I stay motivated and I'm like yes this is working this is all worth the stress that I'm trying not to have because having the stress is no good either um, cortisol doesn't want to be high on this so I'm trying to keep the stress levels down keep my heart rate down so I don't get anxiety about anything and just um, just let the process work right so um, yeah, almost 10 weeks out. Um, I'm gonna be posing every week with my coach and we pretty much got our rough draft routine together and now I'm sure during the cut we'll start seeing what's really coming out and what's not coming out on what's, what we gotta work with. I just with. posted a six week side by side photo and that was interesting for myself because when I first took that photo for my coach in November, it was, it was November 17th, I remember the exact date because, well, it's on my phone, but um, I just thought I looked better than that. So I took the photo while Jay took the photo for me, and I'm um, sorry, I got it in my nose. And I was just like, oh my God, it looked horrible. I don't to be able to do that. At that point, I was really, really, really doubting myself that I could not do this, that I would not be able to look like be ready for a figure on figure competitor on stage and if I want to compete I you know I am doing this for myself and because of the thought that I never never saw myself doing this um, so this is huge for me but also I want to be a competitor on stage I'm not gonna you know, I want to compete if you guys are competitors you got me but nothing drives you more than yourself that I want to talk about so oh yeah my photos side by side six weeks it's amazing what a clean clean diet can do to your body in six weeks six weeks does not sound that long but if you challenge yourself for six weeks and you get to that six weeks and then you take a side by side photo and you're like wow god it fell again this is so annoying so horrible Stan um 
you take that photo and you're like, wow, six weeks, that's it. Oh my God, it made a huge difference. Okay, well now I could go for 10 weeks. It's four more weeks. I mean, you know, like this is some way to challenge yourself, not only physically, but mentally. Clients, um, family, friends, whatever, I wanna lose 10 pounds. 10 pounds is really realistic. Even if you give yourself two months to lose 10 pounds, two months is eight weeks. Um, it is super realistic. Um, I just want to motivate those people that are, that you know, you know you want to lose 10 pounds. Because 10 pounds sounds easy, but when it comes time, it's really hard. And you can't stick to the plan day in and day out. But, um, you need to be motivated in your in yourself, you know, in your heart and in your mind. And your mind is powerful. And um, you can steep down to those temptations that are there. Work, if you have coworkers, um, if you have family members you live with, and you know they they choose to live unhealthy lifestyles but if you don't want to live that lifestyle then don't don't live that lifestyle um we used to give my stepdad a hard time growing up because we're like well you're not why aren't you eating dinner with us and you know and we used to give him a hard time because i didn't understand then what he was with his body you know like he already had a nice body so i'm like hey, why can't you eat this like it's not a big deal you know but when you are working that hard for the body that you have, it is a big deal. One meal um, could turn into two cheat meals, turn into three cheat meals, and then it just, you know, like just stay on track and do it for you. And he's really um, implemented that into my mind. And now I'm starting to understand going through this process. You know, through this process, I wanted to, to, um, to vlog things to show that I'm breastfeeding still, still breastfeeding memory, um, but she slept through the night, the past two nights, and only has nursed before bed and right when we got up. So uh, we're, so this week's been good with the breastfeeding thing. Last week was horrible, horrible, all night oh. nursing. Um, but breastfeeding and competing, breastfeeding and losing weight, breastfeeding and getting toned, um, whatever it is, it's, it's possible, it's so possible. And you know, my first goal with, after I had Emery and I had the C-section was, to still nurse her and lose weight, but also start getting muscle, start seeing it. Even though I'm breastfeeding and you know my body is holding on to this fat to feed her, whatever. I just wanted to get over that plateau and um, and start showing muscle, and all that is possible. And it's also possible to lose 10 pounds this year. It's 2019, and if your goal is um, to lose weight, to get healthy. Whatever it is, it's so possible. Really can if you set your mind to it. Anything is possible, and it's that's a quote that all of us know. But it's just so true. You set your mind to it, anything is possible. I've set my mind to this competition, and believe me, I have doubts every day. And there's temptations every day. I don't want to. I go to the store, and the kids want donuts, or they want Oreos, or whatever they want, and I'm not going to deprive them because. Um, because of my diet, right? I need to be mentally strong um, to handle that. And it's hard, don't get me wrong, it's hard when there's a donut sitting on that counter and you're like, dang, that looks that looks really good and it's so fast to eat. But is it really worth those 300 calories and all that sugar and all that shit carbs? Is it really worth it? You just worked your ass off for three hours at the gym. No, it's not worth it. It's not when it comes down to it. And, um, and I want to do good and I want to look good and I want to look like I've sacrificed and I've been disciplined and all this stuff. So, um, yeah, I guess I had a lot off my chest that I wanted to say. But it's getting up early in the morning, getting my fasted cardio in, either hitting a session right after or in the afternoon like I did today. So I had a separate day um, and it was awesome. My energy levels, they're pretty good. I'm getting a little snappy. My patience is going down a little bit. Um, I, I think your just hormones start getting, you know, a little unbalanced, um, which is normal. So, um, say I'm a lot. Yeah, that's.
that's what I wanted to talk about, guys. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying this journey as much as I am. I just keep telling myself it's possible. I'm doing it. I'm staying mov motivated. I'm staying on my routine. Um, not letting weather change it. Not letting my tiredness change it. All this stuff. I'm just sticking to my routine. Getting after my workouts. Doing my cardio. And not stressing about it so much. Just getting it done. So... Here comes 10 weeks out, and um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go pick up my kiddos.